This message is entitled, Do Not Forget Where You Came From. And what I want to do is go into an area in your past where you know somebody and you love somebody and you're saying to yourself, you know how far Jesus has brought you, but you don't want to go back there because you might be afraid that you might slip back up into the mess that you came from. See, God wants to get you strong enough where you can go back and say to those people from the past that look at the mighty work that Jesus has done in my life. To tell them you still love them. To, to tell them that love was never lost. To tell them that God showed you a new love that was not just a human love, but it was a divine love. It was an agape love. And that your king is now Jesus. When you're able to witness to people from your past, it really imprints on their life because they saw who you were and they see who you are now. See, God is challenging his, his children today to step out of the normal and to get a little more bold. Because a lot of the time people will take the scripture that they have not apprehended everything but one thing they do is forgetting what is behind and they press towards the prize of the higher calling in Christ. But at the same time, to truly press forward to the higher calling is sometimes going back and telling those people that you knew in a time when you were not saved how great your God has really worked in your life, how much Jesus has really impacted your life, and how much he has changed your life. So Father, this is just a reminder to the people out there not to forget about their past when it comes to going back and reaching those people that may be left behind. So in Jesus' name, we will come into prayer over this and believe for boldness in the body of Christ. Father, in Jesus' name, we ask for those to turn to you and we ask for someone, even if it's one person, to get a, a call out of this message and say, I need to make Jesus the king of my life. I don't want to fight it anymore. I don't want to try to go into this agnostic thinking. I, I never seem to get results. Uh, I don't want to believe that we were created out of nothing. I don't want to believe in a false God. But I want to believe in a true God. So today, I want to make you the king of my life. I've seen the change in other people. I've seen the change that you have made on their life. And I believe that it was not just by chance. I believe in you today, Lord. I make you the king of my life. I surrender to your Holy Spirit.